Hey guys, let's talk about Patreon. Patreon is a platform that enables you to support this podcast for as little as £3 a month. For that £3 a month, you get access to an exclusive episode every week. Where we're at home, we get chunged, sometimes we go on Omegalon mushrooms, and you also get access to a live show that we do every month. The live shows are mental. You're missing out if you're not there in person or watching them on our Patreon. We get local comedians to come up and do one minute of their best stand up for you and then we ask them very intrusive questions on stage it's hilarious it's awkward i love it and we have special guest panelists with us so we've just had dan nightingale we got freddie quinn on the next one we'll have adam Rowe on one of the future episodes it's all very exciting an absolute bargain for three pound a month there's also a huge back catalogue of ched ched episodes tarot readings that amy used to do for our guests and you get early access to the public episodes every week you also get early access to live show tickets and any merch that we bring out. The more you pay, the more you get. So our £5 patrons get members-only club cards, they get a print, they get a discount on tickets, £10 as well as the members only club card they get a signed print they get discount on merch and they get a free ticket to the live shows which is a ridiculous value for money every month yeah we'll see you there so sign up today for as little as £3 a month it's not even a pound a week and you get all that stuff we just said come join us in our house your two favourite northern stoners yeah it's dead fun over here join the club get involved enjoy this week's episode it's our party up in here Whoop whoop. Hey everyone, before Hello. we go into this week's episode, I want to tell you about Munch Tame. Munch Tame is the UK's number one smoke shop. Do you want to hit up them for any skins, grinders, yes. blunt wraps? They sell CBD, flour, rose, lighters, Blazy Susans, them. rolling trays. We've got a little promo code. It's Mild High UK. If you use that, you get £2 off your order. MunchTame.co.uk. Support the podcast. Enjoy the rest of the show. What Love you. Hello and welcome to the Mild High Club. <laughs> <laughs> that was really cool. <laughs> right. <laughs> Episode 61. I thought you'd pressed a button that was that. Was that. I thought it was really impressive. It's a silly yeah. one today already. Anyway. <laughs> Episode 61. Harriet Dye is here. Woo! Woo! Hey. Tom's here with a tan. What's happening? Your hair looks so much better like that. Where now you've got rid of all the greys. <laughs> them greys aged you something rotten. We Have you sorted that there. anemia out as well? <laughs> Your clothes, everything, oh, looking so much. <laughs> much better than last week. What the hell? <laughs> Sorry, Tom. Our brows are still shit, though. <laughs> uh, uh, right. Um, so we're going to get straight into it. Callum said he lost a ball one time. How'd you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I guess, I guess. I've, I've not stopped that. thinking about it until I, I was just like, ask Callum about his ball. Ask Callum about his ball. Do you know when like you're just lying in bed and you just have a little play? Yeah. <laughs> do you do that? <laughs> do not you do that, that Harry? Because no. someone asked you the other night. <laughs> <laughs> you're asking me. I know but I've never not found it. No, I'm not. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah, I was just lying there and I was just playing with me balls and then I just couldn't find one. Did it pop back up? Yeah. Uh, it went up me. Okay. And yeah. I went white. I that happens. Out. Yeah. That can happen. I think that's how you can uh, protect yourself in battle. I was oh, pop them no. up. No one can kick you in the balls. If they're... Like a hedgehog. <laughs> like a hedgehog, yeah. <laughs> exactly <laughs> like that, yeah. Maybe more like a snail than a hedgehog. The snails have balls. Goes back in. The men will. But what I'm saying, it goes back in the shell. How it? do they fuck? Snails. Yeah, they're quite kinky, you know. Are they, yeah? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> All sorts hidden up the yeah. shell. <laughs> <laughs> Just a massive length. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'll have, to, the shell. <laughs> I'll have to look into how, how snails have sex. Yeah, um, so, yeah. <laughs> Google it. Your history is going to be disgusting <laughs> at the end of this. Um, how it was so anticlimactic that that was it about your bull? He yeah. just popped it, it back inside yeah. himself. I just yeah. thought, it like, it had been taken off. Yeah. <laughs> like someone had come in the night no. and took it from him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> on the black market. <laughs> Brown market. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, fucking hell. So we're here. Tom's not here, obviously. Callum's here. Ah, yeah. Filling in. Having a lovely time. Harriet's here. Um, it was 4.20 yesterday. And we, like, professional stoners, didn't smoke any weed and just took acid. It was mad. 
Um, have you done, you've done acid before? Yeah. Uh, what was you, well, you do stand up about it? Is that true? So story with the elephant? Yeah, I was in a nightclub. That's hilarious. That was the first time I had it. So it was just all these like mad lights just going at me, and it was like overcrowded. And mm. then I thought I had an elephant, like the whole thing. But I was just. What con- do you like, mean you had an elephant? Like I was just holding one. <laughs> a small one. No, just like a proper. A elephant, big. Like, what by the trunk? No, I had like a rope. <laughs> so I had like a rope on it, and oh, I was tethered elephant. Tethered. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I was just moving people out the that way. Makes more sense. <laughs> oh yeah, not not the elephant that I've got. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was the strangest details you required. What colour was the rope? <laughs> <laughs> so you were walking around with this elephant and you were really was just it walking like around. African like... elephant or Thai? Oh, I think it was African. <laughs> yeah. Um and then yeah, I just tied up at the bar and then I, I forgot about it and then I started crying. Because <laughs> you didn't have it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's, That's pretty hilarious. cool. Have you, have you got much drug experience? or oh, I haven't done drugs in... No. in oh, I have. Oh. Uh, and then I stopped like twen- maybe 20... No, 18 years ago. I haven't done okay. any drugs. Yeah. So yeah. Did them lots. What was your ch- drug of choice? All sorts? Or? Uh, everything. Yeah. Mm. And... Um, but... It was weird because it was when I was in Cornwall and we'd all just, it was just me and loads of boys and we wouldn't, and it wasn't really like, oh, we'll do it in a fun way. We'd just be like, right, who can <laughs> eat, who can <laughs> eat 100 gurns? <laughs> <laughs> and it was just a little bit stressful. <laughs> <laughs> because then we'd be, it would be like six in the morning because it was pit. It was well, well, usually pills, actually. Yeah. When you say of your choice. So then I felt like I never really had much choice. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'd be like, Right, we need some. Um, I love this. We voice. need some um, something for the, the for the pills to feed off. So we'd only be eating for for, so for the, the pills. Drugs, uh, yeah. yeah, for the pills. So yeah. then we just go to Tesco, twenty four hour Tesco at like six in the morning when people are just getting their sandwiches for work, and we're all just like, <laughs> <laughs> sounds very crackhead. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it really was. <laughs> Cornish crackheads. Yeah, yeah so that's that so like, funny. That was my vibe. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's cool. Did you have you ever done acid? Ever tried acid I or think mushrooms? I did. I, mushrooms definitely did. That's why I had a terror. Oh my god! So I um I had this dream um and I people go oh, really but no I had this dream that I was um so I was on a night out I fell out with all my friends and then I walked home and then I got like brutally <laughs> this is awful brutally attacked on the way home and was in hospital so I had this dream and then i took mushrooms and everything in my dream started to happen oh, this yeah. previous oh, dream yeah. yeah so then uh so then i was out but i think that was the first mistake was i was out in a busy pub on a saturday night on mushrooms and yeah. i was like chasing yeah. my hands and stuff <laughs> <laughs> and then um and then uh i started having these conversations with my friends and i knew the way they were going because of this dream I'd had. So then I'd change the conversations. Right. So I didn't fall out with them. Yeah. Uh, and then went back to someone's house, was talking to someone who was just like <laughs> the, the wood in the door or something. And then, um, and then still fell out with all my friends, went home. And then the person <laughs> in front, the person that, that attacked me in my dream was walking in front of me. So I like hid in a bush. That's so mad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. So that put me off a bit. Yeah, and then, <laughs> probably would. Yeah. Yeah, but then I still did mushrooms again. Yeah. And then, but then I, I did them indoors with people I liked, and there was a, like a fight. Well, I don't know if the fire was real or not, but uh, and and I thought I was a cat, <laughs> and I was having a lovely time just being a cat with a fire. I love <laughs> drug yeah. stories that involve hiding in the a bush. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good drug story. That it's funny yeah. that you thought you was a cat because when we've done mushrooms first, you thought you was a mushroom in a field. Oh, it was, it, was, yeah. it was a simpler life. It was so nice. I was just sat there and it went day and night and I was just a lovely, happy mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> lovely, but did you have the, did you know that you'd eaten yourself to be a mushroom? Or no. did you not Ooh. think that? No, I was just a simple little mushroom. That's lovely. Yeah, it was lovely. It was <laughs> lovely. I was like, oh, this is how it we're meant to be. You know, just, <laughs> just chilling day and night. Being a mushroom. <laughs> Kid Cuddy over here. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> so, uh, yeah. so yeah, we done acid yesterday, first time. Um, didn't really know what 
to expect, but thought it was going to be similar to doing mushrooms. Yeah. And it was very similar, like, because I think it comes from the fungus of a wheat leaf or something. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it was mad. Like, we in the night, we, uh, we've we done a podcast on that, which is on Patreon. It was dead funny. Um, but in the night, we was like, oh, we're trying to do, like, a little meditation. And I fucking, I, I come out of it, and I was like, what happened to you? And he was like, not really. And I was like, well, I met my <laughs> dead grandmother. <laughs> and it was wild. Like, it was weird. It was mad. Uh, was she talking to you? Not, like, it's... Have you done... Have, when you go on, like, mad trips, you communicate with something, but you don't speak, do yeah. you? It's sort of, like, telepathically. Mm. It was more just like, hey, I'm, I'm everything sound you're going to be all right type thing. And I was yeah. like, this is mad. Like, it was, you know it was dead weird strange. what's weird though? Because it's a guided meditation. It takes you into like a temple or whatever. And we, but this time we both like experienced some similar things. Like our heads joined in the sky. <laughs> um, and <laughs> so it we both. one massive mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so we both come out of it. And we was both like, oh, it, this time the the temple was like our like I was like, oh, it was my home where I lived, mm-hmm. and you said the same, which was weird. And then I was said someone there was someone like with an egghead, <laughs> and then he Slider. was like, <laughs> he was like, I saw a bald head because he's nan had cancer, uh, and I he just laughed. Slider, Callum. <laughs> Slider. <laughs> <laughs> laughing at me old, bald, dead nan. <laughs> Look at him still laughing. Horrible. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it was just that funny because anyway, I seen an egg and I was like, that was my nan. <laughs> 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 but it was just weird because she said that. I was like, I feel like we both had the same sort of yeah. shared experience. Maybe you got like the same nan. I hope not, because <laughs> otherwise that makes this relationship yeah. very strange. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's why we can't conceive. <laughs> oh. We don't actually know that, by the way. No. We don't. We also don't want to. Yeah. So oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> This is ca- ca- chaos. <laughs> 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 Don't worry. Are well, you all right? Uh, yeah, great. Okay. Yeah, cool. I don't know what I'm supposed to laugh at. Anymore. <laughs> Just laugh at everything. It's all good. Nothing's yeah. off, off limits for laughing here. It's yeah. sweet. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, it was mad. It was a mad experience. Absolute bargain. Acid is a bargain. We had half a tab each, and then that was like 12 hours. Yeah. Amazing. That's so good. But do it responsibly. Yeah. It, it got to like, it was like 12 at night or something, at one in the morning. And I thought it would have wore off by then. And then Amy went to the toilet and I was just looking at this lamp. And I was like, and she come back in and I went, hey, look at that light and tell me this acid's still not working. And I went out and come back in. She's looking at the light like that. <laughs> and then she looked at me and she went, why is your head black and white? Because <laughs> you've been looking at this colour lamp changing colours and that. When I come back in, I was just grey. You look like, like one of them, do you know, garden stones that it have heads on them. What? Well, like on Easter Island. No, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big Easter Island head over here. What's an L nice one? Oh, um, someone, hit, someone roasted me with that one, so did Yeah. Look like Squidward's house. <laughs> <laughs> so roasting half that, isn't it? He has got a, like a solid head though, and that's another reason. <laughs> yeah. We don't want kids. We don't want kids. Yeah. Um, yeah, rip you apart, bang one of them heads out. Sure. <laughs> and even yeah. like I've got quite a big head as well, like and it's solid. Like I've said this before, head. if heads were conkers, <laughs> you'd all be fucked. Um <laughs> oh, but be careful because I used to whack <laughs> the head through things when I was younger. Yeah. And now, because during lockdown, when everyone was wearing the masks, I was like, How come I don't know what anyone's saying? And then it turned out I'm deaf. And I didn't know. <laughs> and then it turned out, because I used to put my head through doors and stuff when I was pissed. Why? Just <laughs> for a laugh. Yeah. <laughs> that's <laughs> so it's, funny, that. It's just <laughs> back to, to haunt me. In, Do you think that's what, is that, is that what made you go deaf, just smashing the, your head yeah, through stuff? Yeah, how did they think I've got a really bad head injury? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> do, do you know what? Probably same because, like, I've 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 hit my head a lot as well. Not on purpose, smashing it through doors, <laughs> but just <laughs> fall it, <laughs> just falling over and stuff. And yeah, smash my head into a radiator. I fell on a rock once. But that, I that, I, lo- I wish I could see go back and see you. <laughs> Yeah. In your prime. Just <laughs> prime eating a hundred pills head. and just smashing it <laughs> through stuff. Just like, hey! Yeah. <laughs> like, it would have yeah. been great. didn't give a shit. That's <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Why, why was, was it like that? Because there was like, not much to do in Cornwall or, or anything? Or? Well, yeah, it's very seasonal. Mm. <laughs> so I'd only be up to no good in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I was just quite feral. I right. didn't give a shit. I didn't care. I, had, I probably, uh, what you were saying, uh, before the podcast about when you're if you're not in a good place it's not good to mm. I was just wasn't in a good place yeah. it was uh, acting up and <laughs> um, d- d- and we are probably a bit of everyone knows your business in Cornwall everyone thinks it's lovely because it's all you know picture. but they don't have to stay there they can exactly. come home and that yeah yeah and I was just yeah just feral really <laughs> <laughs> yeah smashing your head through stuff yeah. yes were you with anyone while you were smashing your head into stuff or were you just on your own oh what like in a relationship oh in because no, it's they, not yeah, yeah. <laughs> people don't find that appealing <laughs> 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 um, yeah with it like I don't I have friends and stuff but I just go up like I remember this guy that I went to college with saying that he hated going on a night out with me because I just I'd walk through like if we went clubbing or whatever I'd just walk in the night club and then just you wouldn't see me for the rest of the night I was just off Ed button stuff. Yeah, but once I, I, I woke up in a manhole cover, like down, because I, twice actually. Uh, twice? twice? Twice I chased the dog. And another time, because we used to go, we used to, uh, well, now I can't think who did this with me, but we used to put overalls on and walk in the sewer, down in the sewers, do yeah. drugs and go in the sewers. And then once I couldn't get the manhole, did anyone else do this? And, no, then, no. I would, uh, and then once I couldn't get the, um, uh, the manhole, Cover uh, open again, oh. and and no, well, no one else was with me that time. I Guess was like, we live in the sewers now. Yeah, that's what's like. <laughs> this is my life now. <laughs> Just the sewer person. Did you try and headbutt the man all off? <laughs> yeah. well, people Fuck used because I was known because they had to fight because I was lost. People didn't know where I was. Mm. I felt like. Um, do you remember in Neighbours when Harold Bishop <laughs> disappeared for two years? No, no. And then, <laughs> then I felt like that. But people <laughs> used to call me Splinter. You know, from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Turtles. Why could you spend so much time in, in the, the sewers? sewers. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, that's so <laughs> funny. That's hilarious. That. Well, yeah. no wonder you're a comedian then, is it? Like destined for the yeah. stage, yeah. <laughs> either the stage or the sewer. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, well, like, uh, did you get into comedy uh, down in Cornwall? Was no, or did no. you move away and then get into it? Yeah, I moved to. Uh, uh, I, I went to uni in Wolverhampton, and then um, and then was then so I'd stopped doing drugs then but just lived on gin mm. and then uh, but yeah, but everyone thinks that don't they they're like oh well I'll stop doing drugs and the better I'll be a proper human and just <laughs> drink yeah. gin and yeah. then but I was drinking gin and eating gin jelly I was <laughs> entirely made up of gin and then <laughs> there was uh, <laughs> it was and there was a comedy module at uni but I didn't even know mm-hmm. I just went to uni to escape Cornwall and then ended up sort of falling into comedy of but no one would no one would work with me because I would be in uni with gin in an Evian bottle right okay and then and then I turned up one day and they were like oh no I was gonna do a Cornish voice but I wasn't in Cornwall anymore uh they were like are you ready for the stand-up comedy assessment and I was like what yeah. uh, and, th- and then someone goes oh tell that story you told in the pub the other day about when because I died twice <laughs> when I was 17 mm-hmm. I was a whole palaver so I was <laughs> like all right so I so I just told this story you and mean I, died on stage or died in real life in real life twice when I was seven because that well, I hadn't done comedy then and uh, I was on a night out in uh, the beach nightclub in Newquay, mm. and and you can you can eat pasties. <laughs> they, you can dance <laughs> and eat a pasty. There's like a pasty wagon. So I there with my pasty uh, dancing. <laughs> But was in pain, and then my friends were like, "Dance it off." I turned up. Dance oh, my, it off. My appendix had burst. Oh my god! Just dance like, it off. <laughs> yeah, but I just didn't know that. You see, <laughs> you're doing the right dance <laughs> move for yeah, appendicitis doing there. The her yeah, her yeah, yeah. Yeah. So then I uh, and I was going out with this guy at the time who 
oh, he was horrible. And he never, now I think about it, he never drunk. And he was always just getting me really drunk, which is weird. So then he was like, oh, let's go for a walk on the beach. And I was like, absolutely not. Like my, something doesn't feel right here. Uh, and then I still went for a walk on the beach. And I remember I had this hole in my, I was wearing jean shorts <laughs> and I had a hole in the back where I'd this, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, this is a journey, and I so love it. There's, uh, there's, I'm on board. I don't know if this is slander, but the, there's a restaurant in Truro called Mannings, and it's after it's Bernard Mannings. Right, okay. Uh, his family owned the restaurant. Mm. And he had a son, Billy Manning, who lived down the road from me, and he cheated on my friend, so I was on a rampage. <laughs> and then I got... So I tried to scale the, the, the fence to attack him, but got stuck <laughs> and then ripped my, my trouser leg, my short leg, and then the... My short leg had my long leg. <laughs> and then... Uh, <laughs> and then... And then uh, where am I? Oh, yeah. And then, uh, and then the guy that I was going out with, that I went for a walk on the beach with... He put his hand in the hole of my shorts that I got speared, and 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 I and he had these really long nails, and I was like, "Why are your nails so long?" And he was like, "So I can caress you." Oh my god! Yeah. And then I was like, "I need to go back home, please." And then I went home, and then and then my mum was like, "Cause I was just like, Ugh. my mum was like, oh god, I think you need to go to hospital." So then the the the, the, the Kerno <laughs> doc, which is the Cornwall doctor, comes out. Uh, and goes, no, nothing wrong with you. And then my mum didn't trust him, so then called the doctor that used to be a vet. And then he come out and went, she's dying. Yeah, she's dying. Yeah. Do and the I Macarena. Went, ah. And then, yeah. I went, yeah. <laughs> then I went, then I went to hospital. Got rushed in. And then the doctor goes, how many, uh, he goes, because I was 17, when did you lose your virginity? And I went, I don't know. Well, what's that got to do with anything? And then he went, when did you lose your virginity? And to this day, I don't know what that was That's to do strange, with anything. That's strange, isn't it? Because they thought, if they thought I was a pregnant, they should have just gone, are you pregnant? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. when did you lose your virginity? Mm. So that often confused me. But anyway, uh, then I got rushed into, so, but I'd spasmed in the ambulance and they were like, they took blood and they were like, hold the cotton wool and I was like, I can't. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then like, <laughs> I couldn't, I just like, my hand had locked up like a T-Rex. And, and then I got rushed into <laughs> surgery after the doctor had asked me about my virginity and then I died on the operating table and then the people go, oh, did you see um, like light? But I saw the tops of the surgeons' heads, like I was oh. like flat being fiddled with, and then I was. <laughs> <laughs> did they say anything like inappropriate? Did like, I? No, did they? Could you see them? No, I could just see them frantically. I don't know if I could hear them actually, but they were frantic because I, well, I was dead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they were just putting a shift in. It. Yeah, 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 yeah. doing yeah. the jobs. Yeah, just uh, your pasties coming out your belly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's mad. Uh, I wish. No way. Right. So how long so was you dead yeah. for? Uh. I don't know, actually. You're not still die. dead, are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're still on acid. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, I'm not the best person to be around after acid. Um, so, so and then, what, what was it like? You was essentially a ghost then, for, in kind of. Yeah. In your head. Yeah. And then, um, so then they must have like bajumped me. Yeah. Mm. And then I must. <laughs> the medical have term, isn't it? <laughs> 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 and then I, I must have just been sucked back in, maybe. Yeah. But then, because then I was fine. Well, I mean, but uh, <laughs> then, then I was, you know, was what was that? That was him laughing. Oh, I keep hearing weird because of the hearing aids. I okay. keep getting weird noises. Anyway, <laughs> well, I hope that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then, and then the nurses were like, right, well, we think you're well enough to go. And I was like, I, don't, I can't really breathe that well. And they were like, no, eat, if you keep your jacket potato down at lunchtime, you can go. Um, and then, so I did. <laughs> like, it's a, like it's a reward. <laughs> yeah, that's keep that you. down, we let you go <laughs> home. <laughs> like, oh, fucking so then I went home and then I couldn't breathe. And then my mum and brother called me Stevie, you know, from Malcolm in the Middle, the guy that. <gasps> yeah, <laughs> with the, like, with the yeah, inhaler. Yeah, they were like, oh my God, you really sound like Stevie. And I was like, well, yeah, but <gasps> I can't breathe. <laughs> yeah. And then the, the doctor that used to be a vet came again and said, she's got 
got pneumonia and then I went back to hospital and then the nurse didn't have her glasses on and they didn't plug me into the breathing machine <laughs> properly and then they died again. Fucking hell. <laughs> so that was the twice. What yeah. happened with Don't the second get death? Ill over there, where, the, where that is. In Cornwall, yeah. Don't yeah. get sick in Cornwall. Yeah. Um, Let that be <laughs> So, what happened the second time you died? Did you just feel like. Yeah, that, no, that, I was just told that. That I didn't. The, the most, maybe your body's like, you know, you've had your moment mm. where you can talk to tell people about. So, what was then. the space in between that, them two deaths? Oh, not very. Like, maybe a month. Oh, okay. Shit. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh. Sorry. No, <laughs> it's, it's, it's mad. I've just, I just <laughs> never met anyone who's died twice before. Yeah. You got um, any plans to die stage. again? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. That. That's mad. So then, so so you, you done your first stand up set just up telling that story. Oh yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. And then everyone, and it was just really nice because no one liked me at uni. And so when I um to so when I entered the stage, everyone was just so indifferent and didn't mm. care. And then when I left, everyone just thought I was brilliant. And mm. I was like, bloody hell! <laughs> and all I've done is talked about died some, twice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All I've done is survive death twice. <laughs> yeah. And they and and as well because. But it was uh, just interesting as well that it was something that at the time was sort of housed in sorrow, I guess. Mm. And then to get laughs and to feel good from that, yeah, and for yeah, that yeah. to be cathartic, I was just like, wow. That. And then obviously no path is smooth. But then from then I was like, oh, well, that's what I'd like to do. Yeah, now. yeah. So that's what like mo- uh, all comedians really defined humour in everything, innit? Like yeah. any sort of trauma, they turn into humour. Yeah. And then that's where where it comes from, innit? But yeah, that's a crazy story, that. That is proper mad. Yeah. Hmm. Our first guest to die. Twice. Twice. Mm. Once. We haven't even had one that died once, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, you died. Uh, no, but I was On close stage. to me, me. All right, you. <laughs> um, I was close to my appendix, though. Oh really? Same thing. Yeah, I was running around the football pitch, hmm. and uh, I thought we had the stick. You playing football or just running around the pitch? I was just doing do my fitness. Doing oh, fitness okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the middle, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With me so you kept on pretending I was part of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> put me in. Yeah, put me in. <laughs> um, yeah, I was just jogging around all the pitches, and um, I got like a stitch. Mm. My mum was like, "You need to carry on," and I was like, "No, I physically can't." So I had to keep running around all these pitches with my appendix like about to burst. And then I went to bed that night and I was crying in my sleep. <laughs> yeah. It's not a fun story. It was. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Any pasties involved? No, pasties. no, damn. Do you know over here in the West? The <laughs> 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 they don't actually know what a stitch is. They, they, they don't know. Yeah. In the West? Yeah, but in China, they say it's scar tissue in your lungs. But over here, they've got no idea what it is. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you know what they've also... China, they have completely different beauty standards. So, like... <laughs> I don't know why. The, the bit under the eye, they call that, like, a light, a sleeping silkworm or something. It's very desirable. Also, ears that catch the wind. That's, like, a beauty standard. <laughs> What's that, like, jogging? Yeah, just, like... Dumbo. <laughs> Catch well, the you wind. And the elephant. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got big ears and eye bags in China. You're dead attractive then. Oh, the sounds oh, of things. Yeah, 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 if you're female. Oh, okay. I think yeah, because I think the 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 ears slim the face if they stick out. I don't know. I haven't got a clue. Anyway, uh, should we should we hit a question? Yeah, Tommy's talking points. Yeah. Um. Should I go on the staple questions? What? You can do. Do whatever. Yeah. Hit, hit us with anything. I had a question, but I forgot. Correct. Um, you do one it. from um, Cameron Jones. Harry always seemed to have her own distinctive voice and style. Did she ever struggle with what <laughs> she might consider her style? And did she ever try to change it to what she thought the audience might want to see instead? Funny you should say that. I <laughs> thought... Here we go. I thought that uh, female comedians look like Rona Cameron. Rona Cameron. You know, she was like a... She was like a 90s out... Very out lesbian. Okay. And she'd wear like a polyester 
Right, and okay. Like a polyester suit. And you thought that was all female comedians? I, I thought that's what I had right. to do. Okay. So then I wore this. <laughs> 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 yeah, so I wore this this suit. Yeah. And did an open uh, mic gig. This was after uni. I did so my first normal gig was in Bristol, and um, and I was wearing this suit that almost caught on fire because I was so it was a free bar, right? And I was just absolutely hammered. And then I was actually told afterwards that they stopped the free bar after that, <laughs> and I no, I had a backpack to. Carry my suit and um, <laughs> uh, and then knocked into a table because there's, it was like this sort of underground um, uh, with the the Jack Daniels uh, glasses with the candles in and then right, yeah. and knocked w- w- one with my backpack and then the candle fell and there was tablecloths so it was a oh, whole, whole f- bloody <laughs> drama. <laughs> um, <laughs> what was my point? Oh my god! That night as well, we were we were we were watching the window outside like and back. It was Bath, not Bristol. You think Bath is posh because of the architecture. And then looked outside and there was a man just fingering a woman like he was bowling. (laughs) So like he was bringing his arm back and then like thrusting his fingers in like that. And I was just like, oh Uh, my God. That's so funny. (laughs) Isn't that awful? Yeah. Yeah. Was it a prosthetic arm? I didn't ask. (laughs) Really? Imagine, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. 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 Prosthetic. That's so funny. <laughs> did, she have a, did she have a skirt on the girl? Yeah. Because it, it, I can't imagine doing that when she does pants on. Yeah. Like I had your oh. jean shorts on. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but so that was my that was what I thought I had to I had to wear, and then I was just and then because then I'd wear like t shirts on stage, and then this woman with um. She w- was wearing orthopedic shoes for fashion. <laughs> and she told me, yeah, there's nothing wrong with her. She was just wearing, they looked like orthopedic. They were, anyway. Um, and she stood <laughs> up in the middle of my set and said, because it was a, like a gig in a hol- in a, like a nice hotel. And she goes, um, we've all paid this amount of ticket for tickets here and you're wearing a T-shirt. And, and and like said it was really disrespectful yeah. that I w- and like no, like trousers not just <laughs> like <laughs> just a t-shirt <laughs> uh, and, and I w- and then I felt really embarrassed and then so then after that I'd wear a shirt because I thought mm. and so that I guess was thinking oh well that's what people want but now like you thought all crowds were like the same in a way yeah, like, so yeah. you went from you went like either end really didn't you, you wore <laughs> yeah. like a suit and and people were like no you'll catch fire don't wear that and then you're like oh I'll just wear a t-shirt and we're like, that's not smart enough. So you're like, yeah. But I feel like the people wouldn't. I feel like people more so tell uh, a woman what they should wear mm. on stage. Oh, yeah. I love you. Why have you thought about wearing a dress? Oh my lord. <laughs> um, so <laughs> so when, was you quite young when you started? Uh, so I so when I was at uni, uh, I was twenty. Uh, so I left uni when I was twenty four. So it must have been twenty. 22. Yeah. At, but, uh, but it didn't really do it after uni, apart from the gig where I yeah. caught, caught fire. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then, so that was, uh, and I'm now 38. So that's ages, ages yeah, yeah. ago. But then didn't do, like, properly do comedy until like 2010. Mm. So, so, like, when you were first starting, like, if you, if you start quite young, you don't really know, like, how you dress in that anyway, do you? But, yeah. like, I started a bit older, so I just go on stage dressing how I normally dress and, like, never really thought about it that much, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I, I imagine when you're younger and you get into it, you're like, oh, like you say, this this comedian goes on wearing a suit. I'll have to wear a suit and that. And <laughs> I used to wear suits. Oh, oh. did you? You yeah. did? Yeah. I remember yeah. kicking with you when you were wearing a suit. I had loads of suits. I had, like, a brown tweed one as well. Oh, is that because you just seen other comedians wearing suits? Like, because re- when you get into it, it's, it's like usually arena comics and that that you're yeah. seeing in it, and they're always wearing mm. suit or a shirt or something because you can't go out in a fucking Nike tracky in yeah, the in yeah. the MEN or whatever, can you? Like, mm. so yeah, so is that why you was doing it or? Well, main because I I've done it like I think I was like 14 mm. when I was like trying to do gigs, but like I just couldn't do proper gigs because of my age. Like I wasn't allowed in. I yeah, not allowed enough like a certain time. So I used to wear like suits and that to try and look a little bit older. Yeah, and I just right. kept wearing them until I was like sixteen, I think, mm. sixteen, seventeen. Yeah, uh, it's mad that you started. You started when you were fourteen. Yeah, but it wasn't like pr- I wasn't like 
It was literally just talking about like how big my uniform was and that. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like groundbreaking stuff. <laughs> just so covering you your know? badge up on your uniform, <laughs> just like. Uh, <laughs> did you know wear suits when you started comedy properly? Like when I I have story gigged with you in, at the Edge Theatre in uh, and you were wearing a suit. Were you not? Have I imagined that? What year was that? Open our finger to Tony Wright. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you all look the same. <laughs> 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 uh, shout out Tony Wright he does pro wrestling now doesn't he he does indeed what uh, yeah, yeah he's got into pro wrestling mm. goodness mm. <laughs> <laughs> would, you ever, would you ever get consider getting into wrestling so you go to head button everyone <laughs> oh maybe uh, yeah, yeah. No, no. Have you had, have you had any fights? I feel like you might have had fights. Oh, I was very scrappy when yeah, I was yeah. younger. Yeah, I don't have fire in my eyes. <laughs> uh, but I'd get like ridiculously um, angry. Like if on a night out and someone just kept like bumping into you and dancing mm. for some reason, I couldn't think. Oh, well, this isn't. We're just having a good cool. time and that. Yeah. I'd yeah. be like, this bitch needs to die. <laughs> 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 like, it's totally <laughs> irrational. And then I just get like completely worked up and uh, take your shoe off. And I told this girl to take, take your shoe off for me to beat her with her own shoe. Because <laughs> <laughs> I like, I've got a train as you see. I love that. Take your shoe off so I can <laughs> smack you. Why with did you want to hit her? Because well, I was just, she just kept like bumping into me on a, on a night out. Or I remember once this guy that I worked with in TK Maxx, he went out with this woman who... He said, it was something, he must have told me he, she did him wrong or something. And then I've seen her on a night out and I'm like, I need to avenge later than the TK Maxx. <laughs> <laughs> and it makes no sense that it was all nonsense. Now I think about it. He was definitely in the wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just, so just, I just get scrappy for no yeah. reason. So you've had a lot of fights. Yeah, and then oh, then when I was at uni, I, I there was this girl. My best friend slept with my boyfriend, and mm. then I broke into her oh, halls no. and then uh, hit her, and then um, but then the police then the police arrested me when I was in my zebra print pajamas the next day <laughs> and took me to the little Warsaw uh, cells and put me put me in a cell with a man with a um, a man with one tooth. <laughs> But left the door what are you open. talking about? Well, yeah. I was put uh, in a cell with a man with one tooth, but the door... <laughs> that sounds like... Uh, uh, so they just like, no, no, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I did a cell with a man with one tooth. <laughs> <laughs> what are to do? <laughs> it's funny that you had like zebra print pajamas yeah. on. It's like Had the done, closest animal print to um, jail yeah. print yeah. in it. Yeah, it's like I knew. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what was you like as a kid? Was it just like a wild kid or? Uh, like uh, him off the wild farm, but he's, what's it, Donny or something? Yeah, Donny off the oh wild farm, but he's. People say my dad looks like the, 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 the father in Nigel. Nigel, Nigel Thornberry. He's got a, uh, quite a beak. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, I was, I was very, I was very my own person uh, at, uh, school I remember I was um the girls weren't allowed to play football so I wasn't having that the boys were allowed to play football the girls weren't so I uh would play football and then because I wouldn't uh, accept that we couldn't then everyone was allowed to so I was sort of yeah marched to the made the change there yeah, then yeah, yeah that's good that's good but then I did I cracked my head open actually at school because there I, we go because yeah, <laughs> I was wearing I remember it was non-school uniform day I was wearing Doc Martens green chinos a shirt with a ruff <laughs> <laughs> and braces, a woolly hat, and Aussie Osborne sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember sitting on this wall, and then um, and then forgetting that the walls don't have backs to them. And I'm just watching everyone, and then I just fell. <laughs> I cracked my head open. Oh, okay, no. no way. I mean, it wasn't well, it a hard hat, was it? Hell, it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's probably that's, I think that's insane. Yeah. I love it. It's the best. Uh, um, wow. What was the question the even there? It was about style and dress, yeah. so it, it got covered. Oh, That's right, okay, yeah, okay. yeah. So you, you found, it took you a little while to find your own little style on stage, did it? Or did you he just get to a point? your own voice as well. Oh, wait, that... That's not what he said, surely, and I've completely not answered the question. I can't remember so. the question, oh to be honest. Oh, no. Harry always seemed to have her own distinctive voice and style. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Did it take well, you long sorry. to find that? Uh. It's completely gone. <laughs> she is talking about hats. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, well, I've first... been in jail with a man with one tooth. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it now. <laughs> oh, God. This is what happens again. Oh, that's so funny. 
No, I love it. I like it. Um, I love it. They're just little journeys we get taken on. Yeah, that's so funny. I used to listen to. Um, I don't know if it's the same for boys in comedy, but, but with I assume it's the same with everyone. People just come up to you after and tell you what you need to do different. So yeah, yeah, at right. the beginning, I just listened to that and people were, were like, right, you need to be more Cornish. And I was like, right, okay, all right. <laughs> and then people were like, you need to be less Cornish. I was like, oh, bloody hell, right, okay. And then and then I would just listen to what everyone said and then it got to the point where I was really far removed from how I actually was. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. So then I was just like, well, I'll just... Uh, because people would say, oh, well, this, this might sound... Uh, this so I I got so I did I was doing the uh, the uh, King what's it called King Kong King Kong King Kong King Kong <laughs> we're so close King Kong. You're so <laughs> 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 I know what it was I was doing, I was King, doing Kong. King Kong what King <laughs> Kong <laughs> yeah. your next film <laughs> yeah are you available <laughs> and so so I was doing King Kong Dog Kong Dog <laughs> King Kong. What is it? King Kong. 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 Sorry. Donk. Kong. I was oh doing a donk show. Sorry. Sorry. Donk show. Oh, yeah, yeah. King Kong. Gong. And, and, uh, with, uh, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and I was, so, I'm so sorry. Oh my Don't God. apologize for anything. I, I love it. So I, I would, uh, I would do that <laughs> quite a bit. And then, uh, once the compare said, oh, uh, give me a message because I don't think you should be doing these anymore. I said, oh, brilliant. So then, um, so then it was Al Alex Bourbon and he said, and he's like emailed loads of people, uh, uh promoters and that. Saying, oh, she shouldn't be doing the, the competitions anymore. Blah, 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 blah. Mm. So I got this um, uh, spot on a uh, bloody London comedy store when I was so. I hadn't done. I'd done about 10 gigs and on the late show, and I was in no way prepared, mm. but was on with bloody. Excuse, this sounds like I'm clanging, but it was on with Kevin Bridges, and mm. then he was like, well, you. You're awful. Oh. Oh, well, this doesn't sound like I'm clagging at all. Uh, <laughs> yeah. goes, uh, goes, I was on with Kevin Bridges. Yeah. He said that was terrible. He said that I was awful. <laughs> but off stage, I was far funnier. Mm. So then I made, from then, I made a conscious effort to go, oh, well, I just I just need to be myself. I've gone and And that is when people start going, oh, you've fucking proper leveled up there, haven't you? Exactly. And like, well, I'm doing, I feel like I'm doing less <laughs> yeah. than I was. Mm. But really, that's what. You need to be doing yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, that's hilarious, that. I was on a gig with Kevin Bridges. He said that was awful. <laughs> but uh, still, though. <laughs> that, that's a really impressive sentence at first. Ten gigs in, I was on the late show doing the comedy store with Kevin Bridges. You just say that and you go, fucking smash that there. Yeah. Don't say anything else. <laughs> oh, I love that. There's another question here. Um, <sighs> Liam York would love to hear the full dinner date story. Oh. Do you know what that's about? Yeah, it was on in 2010. I was on dinner date. Is and that a show? Yeah, it was, okay. It's like come dine with me, mm. but uh, dating. And so what happened was I um I don't know why I did it, and because <laughs> I can't cook, I sort of got I did I went f I auditioned for something else, and they went and then and then they were like. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, do you want to do this? And then I was like, oh, no, not really, but okay. And then, uh, so then I was on dinner date, uh, and, um, oh, well, I, they asked me who, what sort of person I would like, and then they gave me the opposite. And, and uh, they so have you done that on purpose? Yeah. yeah. They gave me like this rugby player. I said I wanted someone that's got something about them and we could have a laugh and I just got this like rugby man with a with no, well that was it. Full stop. Just uh, rugby man. Yeah. yeah, a rugby man. And then I got all discombobulated. The, the cameraman <laughs> had told me that he'd already slept with cuz so he has three dates and then picks the one that he oh, wants. Oh, okay. So, uh he the camera uh, guys told me he'd already slept with the first girl so then I was like well I do not trust this man <laughs> in my house <laughs> uh, but I totally I called because uh, I even prepared oh sorry I prepared something for after uh, like the meals I, I'd bought guess who and they were like what <laughs> 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 or guess who from Tesco. <laughs> um, and then he came round and then he he said, 
oh, he goes, uh, oh, I didn't know we were having bread rolls. I was like, they're my fish cakes. <laughs> 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 you were my massive <laughs> fish cakes. Uh, and then they told me to uh, make it sound like really snazzy. So uh, I said it's my queen of the sea fish cakes because they want the people to pick the menus. But I didn't <laughs> want to call them that. And then because it was just my mum's recipe, sardines. So it was hardly queen of the sea yeah. and um and then what <laughs> must have happened was the heat <coughs> from my fish cakes in the oven it, because then i must have got confused turned the oven off mm. and then the heat that was already in the oven had made my the main cause the chicken look like it was cooked from the outside but inside it was completely raw oh <laughs> and then the guy because he had no chat about him pretended it was fine it was just <gasps> eating raw chicken oh no yeah it was an absolute disaster um, and then uh, guess who for dessert? <laughs> they wouldn't let me play guess who. Oh. Well, because they go, we've got more than enough here. Because I made him really ill, even though he was very ill. He was supposed to, <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't supposed to go on a date on a date with who we chose the next day, but he was bum weird. <laughs> yeah, he was very ill. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh well, at least you uh, at least you oh, ruined weird. his actual date. <laughs> yeah, I did. But people wow. say, "Oh, did you do it on purpose?" And I didn't. I just got um, just got. Uh, it was all because it's not natural. Oh, befuddled, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but in your in your house. <laughs> That's oh. so funny. I didn't know we were having bread rolls there, fish cakes then. Yeah, yeah. they're my grain of the sea fish. That's <laughs> so funny, yeah. So good. I oh. <sighs> think you've got a fan from Rothel in Sheffield. Ooh. So they're oh, asked, yeah. Go on. Uh, they're asking what's your what's your favourite part of being resident MC at Rothel Comedy in Sheffield. Oh, these people actually know who I am. Yeah. I know. It would be general. Our Patreons are intense. You like, do some deep diving on people, yeah. I think. Because oh. we put up who we've got on and ask them for questions. And then they come back over. And I'm like, oh, hell. Like, <laughs> someone, um, who was it? We had Dan Tiernan on. And someone was like, oh, do you still do magic? And he was like... <laughs> I haven't done magic since I was like 12 or something. <laughs> you done magic from like being in primary school to like 18. And he was like, how the fuck do people know that? So I don't know how the, all these people find this stuff out. But uh, That's like that, isn't it? Or not? What's it called? Don't fuck cats. <laughs> yeah. Don't fuck with cats. Don't fuck 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 cats. Anyone yeah. with, with your King Dong. <laughs> 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 so you're resident MC just in the Sheffield one, is it? Yeah, or, yeah. yeah, I did do the Derby one and then the drive became too much. I projected off on myself whilst driving on the Derbyshire Dales because I ate fizzy chicken. Um, fizzy and, chicken? Yeah, from a, like a new news agent that did sandwiches and I thought, do you know what? Support local businesses. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so yeah then I would never do that. No, I ate it. It tasted fizzy and then it just didn't <laughs> sit right and then I ate a lot of peculiar beverages throughout the day. Uh, and then I just, on the journey, projectile vomited. But you can't pull over because it's on the dales. Right. So so then this guy was up my ass, and then he overtook, and I was just covered in <laughs> sick. Oh. He looked in, in as if to say, why is this one of this? Oh, my God. Uh, oh, what was that? Uh, yes, now I'm in the Sheffield one. Uh, and uh, but I like that no day is... Wow, the first. <laughs> it's my Here we go. Strap in seatbelts on. We need that on a button. Uh, wow. Well, well. <laughs> the, the first, uh, I think, ever did a gig I did for Ruffle. Uh, so uh, a comedian was on stage. I can't stand him. So I, I went upstairs to force the poo out. And then, and then while I was on the toilet, I heard, I heard like weird noise. I, heard, I was like, I think I can uh. hear footsteps on this. Footsteps on the system. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, on the and yeah, footsteps on the system. And then uh, and then footsteps <laughs> on the on the floor. Oh. Like I could see through the the thing there were foot feet on the floor, feet on the system. I was like I think people are licking themselves out. Uh, licking each other out. <laughs> <laughs> licking themselves, themselves out. out. <laughs> <laughs> well, either is impressive. <laughs> oh, my God. So in the toilet next to you? Sorry, right, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I went, so then I went on stage and I was, oh, well, I told security, like the absolute grass I am. And then <coughs> I went on stage and I went, I think there's people licking each other out upstairs, but everyone just thinks that I'm just, oh, I mean, it's just Just doing a bit. bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, then, um, and then I said it again in the middle section and then this woman come up to me and she went, you know, you said that there were women looking at each other around the toilets. I said, yeah. She goes, we were. 
And I was like, I bloody knew it. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then I, because they were with their husbands. <gasps> and then oh. I said, well, what do your husbands say? And, and she goes, well, they don't know. And I went, but I told them. And she goes, they don't believe you. They're hiding in plain sight. Oh. So, so well, that doesn't answer the question either. So I guess I <laughs> like this. <laughs> Every day is different. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> do you prefer MCing or stand-up? Well, I think emceeing is a dangerous fish because now that I... Uh, <laughs> no, I do, because now I've got used to just sort of waffling on. Mm. And I think, yeah. my, I think my stand-up may have suffered because, I, because I d- I'm just not really sort of writing as, as many jokes as I used to. And right. I'm, but then in the, on the good way, I can get more... Inv- when I am doing a set, I'll like get involved with what's happening and stuff. Yeah. Um, so I don't know what I prefer. I think I prefer emceeing now. Yeah. yeah. I did, but I hated it to begin with because I don't like the unknown. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel when you start, because usually you've been doing just normal sets for a while before you host for the first time. And like my first time hosting, I seen like, was watching Paul Smith a lot. And I was like, oh, I just, you just chat to people. They're easy. God, because he makes it look so easy. Yeah. And then I went up and went, well, what's your name? And someone says, <laughs> and I went, what do we do now? <laughs> <laughs> where's the funny bit? Come on. Asking people a name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, where's the funny bit come from? So then, for the first, like, like I still feel it now when I'm when I'm hosting that. It feels like you you're not doing that well because I'm still so new at comparing. Like I've not done a hundred gigs worth of comparing yet. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. n- you're still not fully comfortable doing it, but I think you you do start enjoying it the more you do it because you get re- more relaxed in it and that. But at first, it's like, oh my god, this is the hardest thing ever. It's a completely different skill. Yeah, isn't it? it's mad. And you've got to sort of to re- you're sort of relying on people as well because mm. when people come to comedy nights and are just like, sometimes people oh, they think they're being hilarious, but they'll make up stories yeah. and then not give you real answers and then you they're just not really giving you much to work yeah. with and it's just a nightmare. Yeah. So you don't have to trust idiots. Yeah. No, not the people that come to Some of them are though. But yes they are. <laughs> <laughs> As a female then have you have you had much misogyny in that in the industry? Um yeah, when I was a bit fitter, I had um, <laughs> I uh, was asked out, and then when I used to regularly gig for someone, and then when I um, when I didn't go out with them, then I never gigged there for ages mm. and like that. Uh, once in Birmingham, I don't know if this is misogyny. I think this is more just quite violent. Uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> I, also, this guy, this guy that lived on a, I don't know why I know this, but I know he lived on a canal boat. He. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he said Are you a real person? <laughs> <laughs> so it sounds like a fairy tale. The whole <laughs> thing. Jim. Yeah. <laughs> Jim was in the audience. So this guy, this guy goes, "I want." It's, it's awful. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I'm saying this. He goes, "I want to gang rape you all by myself." Okay. Impossible. Impossible. That, yeah. Wow. Not if he had them dicks. Not if he had them baldos, which yeah. we don't, people have fucking no <laughs> idea yeah. what we're talking about there. <laughs> um, you have to sign up to our Patreon <laughs> to find out what a baldo is. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that's a weird thing to say to Isn't someone. It? Eh? Was he yeah. on his own or was he with yeah, people? Yeah, is that worse what, or better? What does it mean? No, I don't know. Uh, that y- I imagine that I will be so violently shagging you that it will feel like... A gang? Feel like 10 men. Then. Yeah. Mad. Okay. Isn't on his cool? boat. On his oh, no, oh yeah, but he didn't say what location he would be using. <laughs> 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 didn't, ask, didn't ask for the specifics. Uh, <laughs> uh, was the boat tethered? Or? <laughs> <laughs> the boat <rope>. Madness. <laughs> um, so what's your favourite yeah. part then of being MC at Rockwell? <laughs> <laughs> On gang rape and a lesbian boat. <laughs> the lesbian the toilet. To like <laughs> so no day is the same. I was going to say that no day is different. <laughs> that's the opposite, isn't it? So the, that is, well, that is different. Because yeah. uh, I think that's what gets repetitive when doing a set, isn't it? It's the, well, I guess that only if you're not sort of re- uh, re-jigging often. But um, it's, it's 
spicy, isn't it? To keep it. Yeah, keep it fresh. And that's keep what it. I like about it. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. Spicy. It's a lot. Oh, it, it, yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah. I said spicy. Can you take that out? <laughs> Very embarrassing, isn't it? Ooh, yeah. spicy. <laughs> it was the dance as well. Yeah. <laughs> the unspiciest dance we ever saw. I love it. Oh, that's so good. Jeez. <clears throat> Wild. I want to know about what was our staple questions. I should know them. There's a uh, ghosts, oh. shameful moments, no. sex uh, stories. Um, sex stories. You seem very intrigued by the ghosts bit, then though. Mm. Ghosts. I forgot the question. Have you had any paranormal activities? And if oh. you could be a ghost for a week, what would you do? Oh. Well, you was a ghost. You was a ghost for a bit, weren't oh. you? Yeah. You yeah. just watched well, surgeons' yeah. heads. Yeah, I didn't so. utilise my ghost. <laughs> no, no, no. Fuck that up. Should have gone to a bank. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Well, just look at all the money. <laughs> oh, yeah, to maybe give to my mother if I wasn't coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> but then maybe, I wonder if that's ever happened, that a ghost has gone elsewhere mm. and then they're supposed to be going back in the body to carry on their life but the ghost is gone and they can't bring it back to life because mm. the ghost just like in the bank yeah. oh it's nice isn't it mm-hmm. <laughs> the ghost has popped an and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had any uh, like experiences with like a paranormal well the, but this makes me sound mental <laughs> this one um, I'm, I'm, this. I'm gonna stop you there <laughs> this thing here. a lot this of other stuff's done that as well <laughs> <laughs> um, well every Sunday right uh, I would know that if I was a, seen to be awake at 8 in the morning these fairies <laughs> would <laughs> would come through my uh, door so uh, would come through my window and they would take me but I never knew where they were going to take me but this was every Sunday I knew I had to pretend to be asleep when was this? how old was it? Older than I should have been. <laughs> <laughs> it was, I reckon, uh, <laughs> uh, still happens now. Yeah. Oh my um, god! Like uh, in my teens, I think. Okay. Yeah, hmm. and and I maybe I wasn't that old, but I remember thinking bit old for this. It's been old for these fairies to be yeah. turning up. And I just knew that because I think if it was a dream then it wouldn't be every Sunday and I remember having to pretend that I'd be like oh here they fucking come again <laughs> and then I'd have to pretend <laughs> I did and then I'd have to pretend to be asleep. So they go away. Yeah. But they must have, they didn't do anything so, to test. So <laughs> I didn't bother. Yeah. I, oh yeah she's yeah. asleep. What um so you was awake uh, and they come. What happened? Like, where would you go? But, no, I was in my bed. Yeah, yeah, but they try and take you somewhere. Yeah, but I never knew where. I never knew because I never because I was always a. S- oh yeah, so they came to me to see if I was awake because I they I knew that they knew that if I was <laughs> awake they'd take me. Yeah. But surely I'd be easier to take if I was asleep. Yeah, so they never took you anywhere. No, because I was asleep. But maybe. Well, this, I, so I don't know. <laughs> so it was a dream. No, no, <laughs> dream. okay. Because it was every Sunday, and I, <laughs> when they'd come through my window, I'd see them. Yeah. So I'd be like, I see their wings and all that, and I'd be like, but then, but then I don't know why they. Not bad. <laughs> don't be fucking stupid, Callum. Yeah. Yes. Wasn't a, wasn't a bad, you idiot. <laughs> be a fucking elephant. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, but it, the, now I'm saying it out loud. Um, now I finally chose to speak about <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really make sense. No. Mm, um, that's mad. But I stand by it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's it was lucid dreaming. So, what, so what's that? That's you, so you, you, you're s- in between a ah. sleep and a work. But there's, there's sleep paralysis as well. And a lot of people see like a, a de- like a, an old woman that that's comes and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, or, or an old woman comes and like sits on the chest and they panic because they can't breathe and stuff like that. So, but they think they're awake, but they're actually still yeah. in it. Oh. So I've seen a, a, like a man made of light. Oh. Yeah, stood next to the bed and I could see him and he was reaching out to touch my head and I was like trying to get away like this. But the way you bring yourself out of it is to like wiggle your tongue. Apparently, so I was yeah. like, 
<laughs> oh, so you knew that and then did that. <laughs> he was like, get away. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of people go away if you're going to yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can use that for any situation. Yeah. I mean, it's a good, it's a good tactic, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> That's mad. So, so aside from the fairies, have you had any any th- ghosts or anything like that? You uh, ever? I don't think I have no. actually. No. What do you think about afterlife? Mm. Uh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> like, uh, if you go, like, if you go to heaven and stuff like that. Wow. Yeah. I like the idea of it. Like, I would like to see l- people that you know aren't with us anymore. But I just, d- I don't know what. Mm. Yeah. Who who's this there? Yeah, yeah. Mad. <laughs> this has been such a wild episode. <laughs> How long have we done? It. Great. Uh, Fifty-seven minutes. Sounds. Oh dear. Uh, flew by that. Yeah. We have a little break. Go shoot. The, I need to go for a little way, and then uh, yeah, yeah. we'll come back and do a little bit more. A few more questions. See you in a minute. I do believe we're sponsored by Manscaped. Ooh. And you know when I'm prepping my balls to dip them in household condiments, <laughs> I'm using Manscaped products. We just received our performance package. And including in that, you get the Lawn Mower 4.0, which is this nifty little shaver. Very lightweight. It's waterproof. Got a little light on it so you can really see what's going on down there. You also get Crop Reviver Ball Toner. Give your balls a little spritz. Make them smell nice. And you Ooh. also get some anti chafing ball deodorant. Look at that. Lovely balls. I'm airy up here. I'm smooth as a seal from the neck down. <laughs> Ladies, we go through so much grooming from eyebrows to eyelashes, hair and nails. The very least your fella can do is tidy up his horrible scraggly ball sack. If you're looking for a chunky gift for your man, look no further than Manscaped. During the 4 million men worldwide who have reduced odour, the chance of ingrown hairs, nicks and cuts on the ball bag. Get yourself a performance package today. Use the code TMHC20 at checkout for 20% off and free shipping. Plus, you get a little gift with it. These anti-chafing underpants. Very soft. They feel amazing. And you also get this bag, which is nice and smooth, like your bag will be when you <laughs> use the lawnmower 4.0. You know, if you're looking to buy a gift for your dad, now I don't know much about dads, but from what I see in the films, they've got hairy noses and hairy ears. Well, in that case, the weed whacker. Perfect for those hairy crevices. Get on it. <laughs> Manscaped.com. Use code tmhc 20 20 at checkout, 20% off, free shipping. Your balls will thank you. Your missus will thank you. Your fella will thank you. <laughs> Your dad will thank you. Your dad will thank you. <laughs> Go get it. We love yous. Love you. Back to the show. Bye. Nice one. Bosh. We're back. Um, yeah, so it's just, I've, I've really enjoyed this so far. You've been, You've been had, some, a had some great, uh, oh, thank you. Yeah. Great stuff. Um, we've got a couple more questions we can fire through. Yeah. Uh, Andy Duggan. If you were to send a new probe into deep space, what songs would you include that you think aliens should hear? Mm. What music would you choose and why? Ooh. Mm. Do you know about this Voyager 1 probe? No. So basically, I think it was like the, maybe the 70s or something. You've sent this probe out into space, and on, the, on that is like a gold disc that plays like greetings in 55 languages and... Uh, a couple of songs from like Beethoven and all that stuff. So it's just like if if any other life finds it, there's stuff on there that they can be like, "What the fuck's this?" So like, what songs would you if, if it was going to go to an alien or something? Oh right, well, this is like you know when people ask you what films you like, what's your favourite film? And you never know. So mm. I feel like I, I can't, oh. did you <laughs> listen to mu- did you listen to music on the way? Yeah, yeah. What was you listening to? Well, I have such a plethora. Because I have, like, for every mood, really. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. cause on the way to the gig, I'll be like, dun, 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 like, yeah. manic music. And then afterwards, I'll be like, Moby. <laughs> That's my heart. <laughs> no. Um, so, well, one song I don't know why, but that I thought of Toto Africa. Yeah, it's a good song. Sorry, there's yeah. my spicy moves again. <laughs> It's so hips. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm driving hips. <laughs> so you put Toto Africa on yeah. there. 
It's a good one. Yeah. Oh. Well, because I used to love when it in the feral days. I just used to love um, rap music, like the Doctor J was at two thousand and one and all mm. that. But now I was like, oh, well, reminisce about the days. And now it, I just find I find it. I listen to all the songs and think. Oh, but would she be okay with that? <laughs> <laughs> in the day, I'd think, oh, brilliant. Yeah. Uh, and now I just feel, I, feel, I find it hard to disconnect. Mm. For, uh, for, uh, so um, then I like, oh, oh, but then it's got to be for the aliens. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Don't forget them aliens. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Salt and pepper push it. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. The you aliens. can yeah. see them bopping to that, yeah. actually. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. baby, baby. <laughs> 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 Hips are back, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How many yeah. songs do I have to do? I mean, that, that's I'll that's do. Fast, you're yeah. right. you're yeah. sending the probe. If, if you if you just want to give the best things that Earth's created is Toto, Africa, and... Push it see, by when you say it like that, it's not, is it? Uh, <laughs> but if in well, your opinion, depends, yeah. <laughs> subjective, isn't it? It's your probe. You can put whatever yes, you want I'm on upset it. about my probe. <laughs> 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 my probe could be better. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know. Uh, <laughs> can, got, go on. But, uh, can I ask if you've got any awkward sex stories? Oh, uh, not that I can remember. Of like, of of. Like a <laughs> I've woken up the next day feeling very sore, but not really <laughs> knowing what's happened because I've been <laughs> off my tits, you know. Um, but I, I did go in. Is this awkward? Yeah, there is this awkward. No, I didn't really feel awkward. Uh, but I went out with this. This was the guy. The, the, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love that. Uh, the, 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 I ended up going out with, but. Uh, and he cheated with my best friend, th that guy. Right. But, but it was just so. I was in the SU at uni, and I said to my friend Batty, "Oh, oh she, <laughs> <laughs> she's called Batty because um, so friends were in Cornwall, and then she was going. Oh, she went out with this guy. I can't fucking stand." Well, it's why we don't speak anymore. She now married him. What a disaster. Anyway. <laughs> if you're um, watching Batty. He's all, yes, Batty. I should have been, if she didn't live so far away in Cornwall, I would have done, you know, is it your, it's always my ambition to be one of those people that stops the wedding. Oh, when he says <laughs> yeah. they haven't got any, any <laughs> objections. Yeah. Batty! It's dead button the priest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> tell them all. When we get married, we can arrange <laughs> that if you want. Yeah. We'll do like a little... Not. Scene. Yeah. I don't want to stand in the way of actual love. Well, mm. you like you won't, but we'll make like a thing of it. Okay. We'll give you the. the yeah, we wouldn't. We, we wouldn't let you let you do it and then go. Well, that's it. Now yeah. we're not getting married. Like but we know we're in on it. Dream, haven't you? So. Yes. Yeah, I should have done it with um awful man. He is. What, why did I tell you this? Um, you, you <laughs> we were talking about you had sex with a guy who's now with Batty or something. Oh yeah, so I was with Batty. Uh, because she so she wanted these shoes and then her boyfriend said, uh, I will give you them shoes if you let me do you up the arse. She said, absolutely not. Then the next day she was wearing the shoes. So we were like, mm, Batty. That was your name. <laughs> yeah, that's why she called Batty. <laughs> so then, um, uh, so I was with Batty at the SU when I was like, whoa, look at that handsome chap. And uh, with this guy, and, and she was like, well, why don't you get with him? And I went, really? Because I just thought he was so handsome that he would never go for me. And then I... I went up to him uh, and I <laughs> <Were you hips>? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. went up to him with the um, <laughs> hips don't lie and uh, so, and uh, was like oh do you you seem quite nice anyway um, and then I well because I think I well I thought that I seduced him with my moves but I think <laughs> I don't think looking like, back now it probably wasn't yeah, the moves because no. um, they used to call me crazy legs at uni because I had <laughs> <laughs> he did. And the crazy legs and batter. <laughs> yeah, what oh, a duo. That's like a crime <laughs> fighting duo. duo right there. Yeah. Why um, did they call you crazy legs? Because <laughs> probably my legs were crazy when I danced. Whoa. But I don't know. How but, crazy can they be? Well, exactly, because <laughs> I went, I met up with a friend from uh, from. Unless they like spin round, facing backwards <laughs> yeah. and that. Like, look at those crazy legs. Swinging round and my body's yeah. just straight, yeah, yeah, yeah. also straight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I met up with a friend once and she said, we went on a night out and she was like, crazy legs. And I, she was deeply upset because of whatever it was that was crazy about those legs. Mm. 
Uh, well, the gin, I imagine. Have they just settled down the legs now? Yeah, the, the, yeah, the, the legs, the legs have settled down. They live in Glossop. <laughs> 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 so, um, so then I went up to this guy uh, and then crazy legged him into my bed, um, and uh, and then so he was he was. So then afterwards, we had oh, wonderful sex. And then afterwards, he fell asleep. And I knew my friends were still at this nightclub. Um, so uh, I don't know what's awkward about this, actually. Well, it depends who you ask. So then I, <laughs> wait, I got in. <laughs> got in, a, got in <laughs> so then, uh, I got in a taxi to, to meet my friends at the nightclub. And then uh, in the taxi, I said, can you slow down every time in the Taxi comes towards us just in case they're coming back. Sorry, uh, and and then uh, what did the taxi driver say to that? I don't know. I think <laughs> so. Every taxi that went past, you were like, <laughs> yeah. "No, it's not them. Keep going." <laughs> there was a question though. Yeah, I didn't really. That's <laughs> so funny. <laughs> yeah. no you slow down that, but every taxi case my friends are in it. Because none of the taxis not slowing down either. So we're like, no, no, it wasn't. There. It might have been there. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, to whatever it was, this night club just kept changing names. So I assume for tax avoidance purposes, I don't know. So then I got to this night club, and then, uh, and then I I remember being a puking blood, <laughs> which was you know not fun. Not and ideal. So then I was uh, cleaning myself up in the toilets, and then my friends were like, "Is that Dyer?" Um, just about because uh, all of my other names, because my name is Daria Dyer. That makes more sense yeah, than crazy legs. <laughs> um, so uh, then, uh, so, but then I was like, oh, well, I'm going to have to be gentle because I've just been sick blood. So then I changed from gin to Jack Daniels. So then I did shots of Jack Daniels and then, um, uh, and then carried on with the night and then stayed up till six in the morning, went back and he was still in my bed asleep. Uh, then woke up, had wonderful sex and then, and then, uh, and then was just, and then slept for a bit, and then, <laughs> <laughs> and then was violently sick because I just had terrible hangovers. Um, and then he was like, "Oh, left." So then I thought that was that. Mm. And then he was like, "When are we seeing each other again?" <laughs> 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 Must have been some good sex, that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's why I was like, "Bloody hell!" <laughs> Don't call me crazy legs yeah. for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Incredible stuff. Uh, Love so, it. So maybe the awkward that uh, uh, that I was sick. Sounds more like a brag, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. 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 Sounds more like a bragging <laughs> sex story. That we had amazing sex, and it was so good. Even after I threw up, he wanted to see me again. <laughs> I like it. Good times. Uh, um, yeah. We got amazing. a couple more questions there. Yeah, from my boy John Skellon. Big John. Woo -woo. Um, has doing stand up helped or hindered your mental health? So you're a you big mental health advocate. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we, we try and do a bit of that on here as well, you know, oh. like you know, it's, it's good. Yeah. That's we're what all, we that, we're, we're all mental. We're big <laughs> yes. we're big stoners and a, a big part of smoking weed is because it, it does help mentally. A poor man's you know. therapist. Yeah. That's what Amy likes to call it, a poor man's therapist. It's a good little analogy for it, I think. Um and I seen on, on your Instagram and that that you've got mental health advocate do you do a lot of work for mental health or you just well yeah well i didn't i didn't even know about all that word was and then um i would start people would start putting it on my when i was doing a night for them so mm. i was like well that sounds fancy that, I love <laughs> that. Uh, so i've just so i've got bipolar so then i and then well i'm clearly off my tits aren't i <laughs> so, <laughs> so <laughs> Just lean into it, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, so, so then, and then because I c corporates and stuff want to be seen as, I don't know, being pro helping their uh, people that work for them with mental health and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I do a lot of, um, well, do you know what though? Often with mental health stuff, you're always preaching to the converted and the people. Like I've had, um. I've had in sometimes I've I've had before because some of my mental health is due to like sort of well this brings the mood down a bit but like abuse and stuff in the past so mm. when companies have been like oh well can you tell us your story and then I've said that and then I've been this was when it was the Zoom gigs at lo lockdown and they'd be like can you please move on from the sex stuff so I f <laughs> I feel like they just pick and choose th yeah. they want to change your oh can you tell us but not about that bit it's like yeah, well, right. well bring me up on, on my like, wagon and then yeah like kick they just dog <laughs> like they just 
pandering. Yeah. I don't know what that no. sentence was. I, I agreed with it. Don't bring me up on my wagon and kick me dog. I, <laughs> I, I get it. Um, yeah. But yeah, they're like just pandering to to be like, oh, look, we care about mental health. For them yeah. when you're trying to actually hit them with some real yeah. mental health problems, they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, just but not don't that. mention it. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, so you do you think stand ups helped or? Oh yeah, so yeah. I think I'd without being dramatic, I'd be dead if it wasn't for stand up because I because why? Well, I, I mean, what else would I do? Right, <laughs> yeah. I'm unemployable yeah. as often as a lot of us are, isn't yeah. it? So um, and it's th- and it's like the first thing that I uh, like because uh, I I quite ups- uh, get easily addicted to stuff and obsessive about stuff and mm. it's and it's a product. A fairly productive thing to be, you know, to all oh, right. Well, I'll do a show and I'll put all my mental into that. Yeah. And blah, blah, blah. So it's, um, yeah, so it, yeah, it's changed, changed my life really. Yeah. Cause oh, that's it, good. Yeah. Because it can, it can knock your mental health every now and then, but Definitely. in the long run, it does yeah. seem to benefit it a, a, a bit more, I think, don't it? Yeah. You've, just, you've, I find you, you've got to, the people get too. Uh, to um <laughs> about what other people are doing yeah. everyone needs to we're on our own path and people that start out at the same time if someone else is doing this and that you people There's so much of that isn't yeah. It, yeah so mm. i think i think as long as you bloody don't bother with that shite you're all right but yeah it's that goes with then and though any yeah. any sort of career yeah, or whatever you're your doing yeah. do your own stuff like because yeah. you're wasting it time and energy that you could be putting into your own work by worrying about what someone else is doing, and they're not even thinking about you, yeah, and they're getting all that shit because they're not thinking of you, yeah, they're exactly. Focusing on their own down. shit, like in it, but yeah, so that's cool. I'm glad uh, I'm glad it's doing good things for your mental <laughs> health. Otherwise, well, no, it's today. it's yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's detrimental to my mental health. But I can't do anything else. <laughs> yeah, class. Uh, uh, so have we got any more there? Um, no, that's it. That's all, all, the all the questions. That's cool, man. We'll check. Um, have you got any any what would you do shameful and best? Yeah, most shameful moment and proudest moment. Mm. Uh oh, shameful. Oh, do you know what? <laughs> this is awful. Oh, so I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's the best start of a story. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, and I found this when I was. This is quite sad. So I. Uh, my my mum's been dead for a long time, and uh, well, 2015, and I went through. My dad and brother have not cleared her bedroom. My dad's up th- upstairs like a troll, mm. weeing in a jug. Yeah, but so because well, he's old and decrepit, and he's in, and there's no toilet upstairs, so he wheezes in a jug like a little orphan, and then <laughs> sends it down when he could just clear. Sends it down uh, like yeah. on a string or something. Got Wallace and Gromit. Oh, okay, the, right. Yeah, yeah. The people of Cornwall. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it that right. advert with yeah. the beer bottle? No, yeah, but it's the there. The yeah. <laughs> Incoming. And, uh, and, uh, and it's even worse at the minute because he's got a bag because of his prostate. Awful business. Anyway, because <laughs> my mum and dad, they weren't together. So my dad's gay. So my dad left my mum for another man. Um, and then she kept the house. My dad went off with a oh, retired to set up life with a man called Strassels in Greece. <laughs> and then to a legal What a life you've all, got. This whole thing. And then Strassels. <laughs> they were... St- like a legal highs shop in in um, in Rhodes in Greece, and then Strathalls apparently ate a lot of the illegal highs and died of pneumonia. Why have I said that? Oh yeah. So the uh, the uh, the embarrassment is that I. So I because I do not live in Cornwall anymore. So I'm. So I decided to finally clean Mum's room of because she's died and Dad needs to be near the bathroom because yeah. of his sad jug. So so I was cleaning and I found this note yeah. that I. Oh, so I wrote a note. So I, so when I was drinking too much and I really did have a problem, and then I, I had, I don't know how what the logistics were, but I'd weed quite heavily in the corner of my bedroom and then left a note floating in the wee whilst I went to college, and then my mum kept it, and then it was in her keepsake, like yeah. stained with wee, saying, "I'm really sorry. I think I have a problem, but I don't want to talk about it." <laughs> Oh, a piss soaked yeah. confession. Yes, a piss soaked as a memento. Yeah, and then I found that, and I just felt so ashamed that that, that my poor dead mother had to deal with that shite. 
you know? I mean, that's going to take some beating from next guests, you know, for a shameful moment. That's a, that's well up there. I think you've won. You might it have won It was never a competition, but... <laughs> that's all. I was, thinking, I was thinking I really let you all down. No. It, was, it wasn't... Sh- oh, I mean, talk no, about I you. even more shame that it really was shameful that it's beat everyone. <laughs> talk, about, <laughs> talk about your dad's gay drug, <laughs> drug addict or whatever. Love we need, like, a little Top Gear uh, yeah. Yeah. table, don't we? Yeah. So have you got, what, what's your proudest moment then? Oh, well, in an unclangy way. Um, I So, although I thought I... So, it was probably uh, l- at the end of last year, I... Well, it was very random. I just got an email asking if I wanted to go... Because, you know, all the careers, they're, they're like, how oh, did you get that then? I just got an email asking me if I wanted to go on the Russell Howard show so oh, i did stand yeah. up on that and i was so oh my god it was just amazing and i yeah. but i cried after it was like bloody hell it was just it was just such a nice but the problem with that was i um uh so i practiced my set so much but then uh, when they said please welcome to the stage i then just forgot how to walk because you don't practice crazy that. legs yes <laughs> made a That's what it is. and then my father even said well when he watched it why are you walking like that? That's so funny. I, I oh, love I that you said. Watch that back now. I love that you said you don't practice that bit. Well, like you, don't. you went over your set so many yeah. times, but you didn't practice the walking <laughs> bit. And then you were just like, oh, I've forgotten everything <laughs> apart yeah. from me set. Well, because everything's on you, but then you're like, oh, boy. <laughs> just <laughs> yeah, like, and grommet in the wrong trousers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Uh, yeah, we watched that set the other week. It's oh, dead, did it's you? Dead good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But we're going to watch it again now with new eyes. With new eyes and watch the <laughs> war. Looking for them legs. But then my, f- my uh, friend said, uh, why did you... Because as well as the walk, I just went so Cornish. Because I just, I think that was the panic as well. I was mm. like, ooh, are you there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, does odd things, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's amazing. amazing. Loved it. Great that's stuff. Um, well, I think we'll, uh, we can wrap it up there. We've got uh, yeah. a little gift. Um, oh, yeah. You pass, I see that Vista print box there, Callum. I know you said Tom then. Um, just yeah, just get a card um, over there for us, please. Don't get your ops up. <laughs> <laughs> this is just something we give to our guests. So we we have a little a, a little card that we give to our guests. Um, so we, we give this a to members you. Members only club card. Oh. and it entitles you to one favor, like the mafia or something. So, so if you need anything, it wise, give us a shout. Is and, it and real? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. But because I'm uh, scared of what your favourite is <laughs> yeah. going to be. I'm not going to lie, yeah, yeah. but I'm looking forward <laughs> to it. John Wick, where they clean up a body. Yeah. Yeah. Me yeah. And maybe we'll see. Does that actually happen to me once? Quit. Uh, Let's go. <laughs> no, we've got time. <laughs> we've got time. So I had this friend that I went. Uh, I used to. Wait a bit, how did I know it? Knew her from college, and I when I worked in the corporate jumble sale, TK Maxx, there was this girl um, who had a wrong un for a boyfriend. Uh, but th- this girl that I uh, worked, uh, this girl that went to college with, she said to me, because when we used to smoke a lot of weed together, mm. I had a penis bong. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> but I used to smoke dirty dirt bar. Oh, like a uh, hash, like resi- Rocky yeah. and that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then once, because I went out with this guy that was a drug dealer, and then once, he because he had a big fat block of it, and uh, uh, there was a rubber glove in it. In the red, in yeah. the no way, yeah. And I was like, Oh, I know it's cheap, but <laughs> <hell."> <laughs> Fucking <laughs> hell, yeah, Rob a glove that's in it. so funny, <laughs> yeah. And uh, so I'd smoke weed with this girl, and then she said once when we were stoned, she goes, Just remember, I my brother is in the Cornish Mafia, mm. and I went, What? <laughs> I, said, I don't think that's a thing, it doesn't know? sound very intimidating, no, does exactly. it? The Cornish Mafia, <laughs> I club to death with a pasty, yeah, just killing so, people and putting <laughs> them in pasties yeah. and that, like, Oh. oh. There you like, go, a yeah. ro- like a roll down and selling them at clubs. Yeah, <gasps> Sweeney Todd, that in it. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> 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 so then, this girl that I work with at, at, at TK Maxx, her, she. I mean, this is awful, but she basically she was off for a bit because this wrong one that she was with fucking stamped on her head and her jaw. She had a jaw fucking in hell. scaffolding. So then I said, to scaffolding. Them, <laughs> <laughs> it is, isn't it? It's hell face scaffolding. It is, it yeah. Just, it was just lovely, yeah. <laughs> um, and so I said, uh, so I said to this girl who said she had a brother in the Cornish Mafia, I said, well, 
there is this absolute bastard that's going out with this girl that I work with. And funnily enough, the girl that I used to uh, work with, so um, I used to walk to school with, I used to have, so I was probably like size four or five, but I wore size nine. <laughs> what? Well, I didn't really know. I thought it was like <laughs> an extra pocket. <laughs> no, I just thought it was That's like where your crazy legs come from, because all your shoes are too big. <laughs> Flippers. Yeah. Well, no, I stopped by then. It was because um, I thought it was like a competition. So, so you had the bigger yeah. shoes. <laughs> So I just kept getting and I put like socks in the ends of them. <laughs> but this, I walked to school and then this woman used to jump out of a bush at me uh, in... What? No, honestly, this woman with a blonde wig with a bottle of vodka in her hand used to jump out of a bush <laughs> at me. So then I thought... I Every thought day? It, uh, at least three, four times a week. And it got stressful. So I'd, I'd walk on the main... It got stressful. <laughs> That's is, so funny. Because yeah. sometimes she's very yeah. which, which bush it was. Different bushes, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that old chestnut. <laughs> so, then, so then I'd walk on the main road where there was no pavement. And yeah. then once a car ran over my foot, but it didn't get my foot because of my shoes. <laughs> but anyway, so when I was in 2K Max, this girl who had the boyfriend that stood on her head, she yeah. goes, one day, will you cover my fitting room shift? I said, yes. And then, I said, why? She goes, oh, because I'm meeting my mum. And I said, okay. And then um, uh, she goes, oh, here's my mum coming up the escalator. It was only the fucking woman that used to jump out of a bush no at me way. at school, but I didn't recognise her because she had a uh, <laughs> Capri Sun. She wasn't covered in leaves <laughs> yeah, and shit. She didn't have yeah. a fo- <laughs> Uh, and then, um, but that's a sort of side story, really. <laughs> Sorry. It's a fantastic side story, story yeah. So then, um, so then, uh, I told this girl uh, about the the boy that stood on the red, and then, and then <laughs> when I stood on the red, make it so less like, <laughs> less aggressive to what it was. Sorry, yes, Girls stood on the red. Uh, don't want to do a disservice to how awful it was. Yeah. Um, so then, then the next day I went. Uh, uh, no. Tell a lie. About two days, I went back, and then the the girl said he's gone missing, mm. and I said, "Fucking hell, I think <laughs> I've got him kidnapped." Yeah, yeah. yeah I had. Yeah. Yeah, he'd <gasps> gone missing. He'd been stripped naked, and they put him in a um uh with the chickens. They put him. They covered him in. <laughs> they covered him in treacle. Put trill on his. Tired and feathered. And then put him in with chickens, and chickens pecked his bits, and that's because of me. I mean, that's. Well, I'm so I should be giving you this. No, no. I know I'm quite scared now. I, uh, I think you've got lovely legs. Uh, that, that's mad. Yeah. So he just got like his dick pecked a bit by chickens. Yeah. Wow. What an episode. I, I've loved this. I'm exhausted. Sorry. No, it's, it's been fantastic. Honestly, like, love it. Like, I, I, I want to carry on forever, but we can't. Um, but we'd definitely would love for you to come back if you want to. Um, we do a live show as well. I'd love for you to come to that. Um, but we'll talk about that another time. Um, but you've got a podcast of your own? Yes. Do you not want to talk about that? <laughs> we don't have to plug it if you don't want to. It's fine. Yes, it's called uh, I Don't Usually Find Women Funny, but it's a bit of a mouthful, I think. Mm. I, I think it could be catchier. But with lovely Anna Thomas. <laughs> Anna Thomas She's is great. great. Yeah, really, yeah, yeah, yeah. really good. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, so me and her just waffle. So it's not um, where well, there's no order. It's just nonsense, really. <laughs> now I've spoke to you for a bit. I get it. Yeah. Um, and she's she's similar. She's well, a bit... Yeah, so uh, that's the problem. There's no one... Because before when I've done podcasts, there's been someone to sort of rein like us a producer. in. You need a little producer just yeah. to keep you on track, don't you? I yeah, yeah, we yeah. might need that. Yeah. But, um, but if you want to see unadulterated... Waffle. Or is waffle. it Crazy Legs and Batty? That's yeah. what you should call the podcast. <laughs> oh my God, crazy yes. Legs and Batty. She can be the new Batty. Anna will be like... <laughs> I'm not being called Batty. Yeah, no, <laughs> shut up, you're Batty yeah. now. I love it. So, where's that? Is just on? Is it just audio or on YouTube as well? Oh, uh, uh, there's bits on, on you. Uh, it's on the Patreon, mm. and uh, but I've doubled, <laughs> I've doubled it with my own individual pra- Patreon because I felt like I was letting everyone down, not giving them enough. On oh, there's a whole bloody. Bleh. Um, <laughs> so so it's with my own patron and I've, I need there's stuff on the YouTube but I, on the YouTube uh. but I need to put more on <laughs> right okay so, so, so the podcast for now is just on Patreon <laughs> yeah, sorry yes no it's fine oh no I... wait a minute no the podcast is on <laughs> all the platforms the is it on YouTube oh, sorry including uh. wait a minute no it's on the Patreon 
five visual. Okay. And then on the if you want to, <laughs> so if you want to watch it, you've got to go on Patreon, yeah, but you yeah. can listen to it and on all platforms. On the YouTube, and right? Then don't say the YouTube, and then <laughs> for, your, for your ears. Spotify and yeah. uh, all the all, all the, them places. All cool. The places. We put a little link in the description. <laughs> yeah. That and, uh, what social media and stuff like that. You got any shows coming up you want to plug? Oh, ooh, yeah. Uh, yeah, all of them. Come yeah. to Ruffle in Sheffield. Come to Ruffle in Sheffield. Yeah, we we'll link. Have you got a website or anything we can link yeah. to? Yeah, we'll, HarrietDyer.com. There we go. We will link that in the, in the description. It's been Thank amazing. You. Thanks so much yeah. for coming down. Thank you so much. Um, or go check out Harriet on online and stuff like that. Uh, you got any? And plug on anything? No. no, we'll have you back soon. We're, cha- <laughs> we're changing how we do stuff here. By the way, we're going to have regular mates coming back and, and hanging out with us, so you see more of Callum. Um, anyway, but yeah, look, thanks for coming down, man. Appreciate so it. Much. You, and you want to say, Amy? Love yous. Love yous. Nice one. Nice one, Harriet. <laughs> Appreciate it. See you all next week. Cheers. See you. Bye. Later. Bye.